Jones criteria for the diagnosis of acute rheumatic fever was first published in 1944. Please note that the initial part of this discussion is on the original Jones criteria published in 1944. Major manifestations described in that paper were carditis, arthralgia, chorea, subcutaneous nodules and recurrences of rheumatic fever. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Minor manifestations were fever, abdominal pain, precordial pain, rashes, epistaxis, pulmonary findings and laboratory findings. The diagnosis of rheumatic fever was considered reasonable if there was 1. Any combination of major manifestations 2. Combination of 1 major and 2 minor manifestations 3. Minor manifestations alone in the presence of rheumatic heart disease when other causes can be excluded. Over the years, the original Jones criteria for the diagnosis of rheumatic fever have been revised and modified several times. The 1992 update was by a special writing group headed by Dajani A.S. According to the 1992 update, the major manifestations were carditis, polyarthritis, chorea, erythema marginatum and subcutaneous nodules. The minor manifestations were grouped into clinical findings and laboratory findings. The clinical findings were arthralgia and fever. The laboratory findings were elevated acute phase reactants like ESR, CRP and prolonged PR interval on ECG. In addition, supporting evidence of antecedent group A streptococcal infection were included, positive throat culture or rapid streptococcal antigen test and elevated or rising streptococcal antibody titer. The presence of two major manifestations or of one major and two minor manifestations indicates a high probability of acute rheumatic fever if there is evidence of a preceding group A streptococcal infection. In 2000, another working group chaired by Patricia Ferreri was set up by the American Heart Association to see whether further revision was required. They were of the opinion that there was no need to revise the criteria for the diagnosis of first episode of rheumatic fever. They also concluded that although echocardiography was useful in the evaluation of rheumatic heart disease, the evidence did not favor including echocardiographic findings as major or minor diagnostic criteria. AHA Committee on Rheumatic Fever, Endocarditis and Kawasaki Disease of the Council on Cardiovascular Disease in the Young has revised the criteria again in 2015. This time, echocardiography has been given a role in the diagnosis of subclinical carditis. The salient difference between the older criteria is of course the inclusion of echocardiography for the diagnosis of subclinical carditis. They have suggested specific echocardiographic criteria for diagnosing rheumatic valvular regurgitation of the mitral and aortic valves. In case of rheumatic mitral valve prolapse, it may be noted that only the leaflet tip will bend into the left atrium unlike the body of the valve leaflet in classical mitral valve prolapse. Another important highlight is inclusion of monoarthritis and polyarthralgia as potential major criteria in populations with moderate to high risk of rheumatic fever. Low grade fever has also been included in the minor criteria in such populations. For diagnosis of recurrence of rheumatic activity, even three minor criteria without any major criteria can also be considered. Current major manifestations are arthritis, carditis, chorea, erythema marginatum and subcutaneous nodules. Minor manifestations are fever, raised acute phase reactants, prolonged PR interval on ECG and past history of rheumatic fever or rheumatic heart disease. Evidence of recent streptococcal infection is rather a mandatory criterion along with the above criteria. Exceptions to this rule include chorea, which may be the only manifestation of rheumatic fever, and chronic indolent carditis. Chronic rheumatic carditis has an insidious onset and slow progression. First set of references. 
second set of references. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.